Hello everyone, my name is Devin Adams. I'm a Fortinet certified trainer here in Tempe, Arizona for Dynamic Worldwide. And uh, I record these videos for my participants who take my class. And uh, I want to make sure that they have an environment that they can go ahead and practice with their NSC5 certification, which is the Forta Manager and the Forta Analyzer. So I've kind of already gone over how to do this in the previous uh, videos. They're kind of scattered on my playlist there. But um, I've had requests time and time again on a more thorough look into the Forda Manager and also the Forda Analyzer. So I have not come up with like a list of objectives yet of how or what I'm going to cover. So I'm just going to kind of roll with these guys and hopefully Sone will find them helpful. Um, maybe not. Who knows? But I'm going to begin this first video by dropping in a new Forda manager in our GNS3 environment here and then getting it labbed up in our lab environment. So, uh, so far I've already showed you in previous videos of how to get here and where to get the images. So you need a support contract license, but you go to support.fortinet.com, you log in, and then you go to download firmware, and you're allowed to download these these uh, VM images. So what's nice about GNS3 is the moment that you click and drag one of these devices into the environment, you get a 15-day free license. And that's also true with the Forda Manager. So um, I already did that part. And like I said, there's there's videos on how to, how to do that here on my channel. You just have to go look at the playlist. But here is a, a new Forda Manager 6.0. And that is the current firmware for the exam even though they are up to 6.2 and we're gonna bring this bad boy to life so I'm just gonna really quickly rename this so we don't have to see that version number and what's nice too is that in this lab environment we are essentially going to use the Forty Manager also as a Forty Analyzer because they're both just about the same appliance um, but everything a Forty Manager can do a uh, uh, Forty Analyzer or everything a Forte Analyzer can do, a Forte Manager can do, up to a certain degree. There are some logging capabilities that are locked into the Forte Manager, but for your test environment, it should be enough for you to play with. So uh, here we go, we got a 10.10.10 .10 domain here. I'm gonna go ahead and take my cabling tool, and on that first port, I'm gonna plug it into my switch, and then I'm gonna let that Forte Manager boot on up. So it will take a moment. Uh, let me double click here to see the output here. But by default, most Fortinet appliances on port 1 are going to have an IP address of 192.168.199. And in reality, uh, you can, um, meaning like in the real world, you can either use the console port or just simply plug in a, a uh, a laptop or something like that in that same domain and be able to administer to it. So this will just take a moment to boot up. I'm actually going to hit the pause button uh, so you don't have to watch it load, but it will load. Just one moment. There we go. All right, sorry about that, guys. Just takes a moment to boot up for the first time. Has to generate all the all the databases and all that good stuff. So, but here we are at the uh, blank login screen, okay, of our FortiGate. So let's go ahead and type in admin, and it's going to be no password, okay. And then we're just going to get a git system stat here to see that you know there is no serial number on this bad boy because it's a part of the the free tryout of the VM. So we'll have. I think it is 15 days to use it before it shuts down on us. Uh, but let's go ahead and get it configured. So um, we're going to do a config um, system interface. Okay. And if we do a show here, as you can see, the default for a lot of these 40 products are going to be 192.168.1.99. Well, we need to change that bad boy so it's on the same subnet as in our lab environment here. So um, let's go back and we'll do an edit port one. All right, here we do, go do a little show. And then we'll set that IP address to 10.10.10.250. I'm just gonna pick 250. So 
There we go with the slash 24. We'll hit an end. And believe it or not, that should be enough to get us to the GUI. So uh, let's go ahead and close out of here. And just so I remember what IP address <laughs> it's on, um, I'm going to go ahead and use my little writing tool right here in my GNS3. Just so if I come back later, I know which IP address I gave it. So there we go. All right, wonderful. So let's go to PC1. All right, let's load up a web browser. Might just take a moment. Um, all of these uh, VM.